ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കലിസ്റ്റ്രിക്ഷൻ Do you remember the answer? A double face, um, double face person will be the worst on the day of resurrection. What shall you do when you see an evil? Uh, we should evil? not, we should not speak about it in public. We can only take about evil when we need justice. Okay. Today we have the book Surah Nabi Daud. Auz billahi min shaitan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Read this. Abu al-Aj Ajfa al-Sulami said, "Umar Allah be pleased with him delivered a speech to us and said, 'Do not go to extremes in giving women their Brother, for it, for if it is rep represented honor in this word and pity in Allah's sight, the one of you most entitled to do so would have been the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not marry any of his wives or gave. any of his daughter in marriage for more than 12 you ki ha so basically it mean that the woman should not ask a lot of mahar a lot of dower for the marriage she should keep it moderate according to her husband financial situation if you remember we studied an amount as well last time do you remember anyone what was the amount of mahar we calculated in the class as well yeah it was 1.375 kg of silver yes that is like 839 pounds yes so and when you will marry your son try to give the lady this amount but it is not necessary it is optional thing you can increase it you can decrease it so amount can be changed but better is you give them this thing next student read this one urwa reported on the authority of um habiba that she was married to abdullah ibn jahsh ibn jahsh who died in abyssinia So the negus married her to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam giving her on his behalf a dower of 4000 dirham he sent her to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam with Shurah bil ibn Hasan Abu Daud said Hasana is his mother So this is this basically it means that we can increase or decrease the amount of mahar whatever women want or whatever is our financial situation the recommended is 1.37 kg next student az zohri az zohri said the negus married um habiba um habiba daughter of abu sufyan to the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for a dower of 4000 dirhams we we wrote it to the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam who accepted it okay we got the standard recording and recording is progress okay so same thing is repeated in this one next student read this one narrated anas the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this the trace of yellow on abdurrahman bin auf the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what is this he replied messenger of allah i have married a woman he asked how much dowry did you give her he said anawat 
weight of gold. He say, hold a wedding feast even if only with a sheep. So we have two things that first thing is about the quantity of mahar. So this man gave this weight of gold, which is around uh, the seed of date fruit. He gave this thing. So we can increase or decrease the quantity or whatever the mahar is. Second thing, hold a wedding feast, which is also known as Walima. So the man should try to hold a wedding feast which is known as Walima, often the first marriage night. Okay, so when he take the woman to his house, after first night, on the next day, he should try to do this wedding feast, which is known as Walima as well. Um, what is the yellow stuff which is so in Abdurrahman? Was it the cloth or what? It was, uh, as per my knowledge, a kind of perfume. Today we have perfumes in liquid form, but at that time most of the perfumes were in the solid form. So when people used to use perfume, often their traces were left on the cloths. So that was the solid type of perfume or whatever you can call it used at that time so next to read this one Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah, the Prophet Sallallahu said if anyone gives as a door to his wife two handful of floor or dates he has made her lawful for him. Abu so Daud said. There. Next is this tradition. So again, we can give anything in Mahal. Okay. Whether it is money. Can you tell me what you took in the Mahal at the time of your marriage? Uh, given money and uh, gold. Okay, you basically did you ask or did your parents decide? No, no, no. My parents asked uh, when the groom came. He was told to um, Mahar to bring any, any, any stuff which he has. Mm -hmm. So he himself brought that money and how much money? The money was like. It was 1,500 pounds. Okay. And gold, how much? Gold was like the um, gold was like maybe 2,000 pounds. Okay. So around 3,500 pounds. Yeah. And according to other UK Muslims, was it um, high, low, or moderate? No, it's not because um some of them, you know, they they get it depends. Some of them they demand ten thousand pounds or it depends. Mm -hmm. But for me it was like moderate, but some people demand more money. Yes. Okay, next student read this one. Narrated Sahal bin Sa'ad al Sa'id, a woman came to Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, Messenger of Allah, I have offered myself to you. When she stood for a long time, a man got up and said, Messenger of Allah, marry her to me if you have no need for her. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, Have you anything to give her as a door? He replied, I have nothing but this lower garment of mine. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you give your lower garment, you will sit while you have no lower garment. So look for something else. He said, I do not find anything. He said, look for something even though it should be an iron ring. The man sought it but found nothing. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do you know anything from the Quran? He said, yes, I know surah so and so which he named. 
the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say, I have given you her in marriage for the part of the Quran which you know. So we have things, for example, in my country, if a woman sends a marriage proposal to someone, it is considered a very bad thing. But Islamically, there is nothing wrong in it. A woman can send a marriage proposal to a person who thinks she is, he is suitable for her. So we can write this question because in my country, this is a big problem. Women cannot send a proposal to anyone. Can a woman send marriage person, marriage proposal to a man? So in the answer you write according to Hadith two triple one or two one 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 one. Yes, she can. According to Hadith two one 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 of Sunana Vidaud. Yes, she can. Second thing is repeated that we can give anything in Mahar. For example, this man gave her the knowledge of Quran as a Mahar. So anything can be given in Mahar. Next student, repeat the question and the answer. Ms. Hood. Narrated Abdullah bin Masood Mashruk said that on the authority of Abdullah ibn Masood, Abdullah bin Ma ibn Masood was asked about a man who had married a woman without cohabiting with her or fixing any door for her till he did. Ibn Masood said she she should receive the full dower as given to women of her class, observe the waiting period and have her share of inheritance thereupon Makil Ibn Sinan, Sinan said, I heard the Messenger of Allah وسلم, giving the same decision regarding Birwa a daughter of Wa Washik as the decision you have given. So let me explain you it with the practical example. For example, your eldest son. Can you repeat his name again? Ahmad. Ahmad. Does Ahmad has any wealth or property or anything which he owns himself? No, he's still studying. Okay. Let's suppose Ahmad, your son Ahmad, is uh, 25 years old. He has a good job. So because of his good job, he has managed a house of his own. He has a car as well. He has a bank balance, maybe 6,000 pounds. And he is 25 years old. He did a nikah with the girl named Sarah. So they both are engaged, but Ahmad never touched Sarah. Then uh, their marriage will is scheduled in. Um, next month their marriage is scheduled in the next month so they are both nikafied but they have not touched each other sadly something happened an accident happened and mr ahmed died in the accident 
now does the sara has any share in these things or will the parents get everything the the parents will get everything i think so you are saying parents will get everything but according to this hadith have our share of inheritance okay she will have her islamic share of inheritance so inheritance will be divided between you the parents and sara his wife as well why because they both have done nikah already so islamically sara is ahmad wife even though Ahmad has not touched her yet, but still they both are in nikah. So Islamically, she is in her, she is his wife. So she will get inheritance from her husband, just like a normal woman does. I will ask you again, will you get everything? Or will Sarah, does Sarah has a share as well? Sarah has a share as well, yes. according to the Had. Yes, according but to But in our country, they say, you know what they do? They say if they do nikah and they haven't met, so there's no nikah. Nikah, they say they consider it as the husband and wife meeting. If they haven't, so um, Sarah doesn't get anything. That's when I was confused. In, in my country as well, people do many stupid things, which has nothing to do mm -hmm. with Islam. Actually, what yeah. happens... Our ancestors were non-Muslim. For example, my ancestors were Hindus. Similarly, your ancestor, I don't know what was their religion in Kenya. What was their religion in Kenya? Do you have any idea? They are Muslim, but... In old uh, times, before Islam. In old time, old time. My grandparents, all of them. Yes. They came from Yemen, yeah. Okay, so here they were Yemenis. So this means probably they were either they were Christian, yeah. Either they were they Christians or Jews, I think. Because in Yemen oh. before Islam there were Christians and Jews, as per my knowledge. Okay. So my ancestors were Hindus. So now Muslims, we Muslims have inherited many things from those Hindus. And we practice these things in our daily life and we think that these are part of our Islam as well. But in reality, they have nothing to do with Islam. So we basically inherit these things from our ancestors. And with the passage of time, because of lack of Islamic knowledge, we think that these are part of Islam. But actually they are not. So I will not write any question. Just understand this thing that Sarah will get this hard share of inheritance from according to this or this. And there is another situation. Now Ahmad has died. And Ahmad and Sarah did a nikah as well, but they did not decide any mahar. So what will you do now? Any idea? She's busy. Miss Hood, can you tell? Can you repeat your question? So let's suppose you are the mother of Ahmad. So Ahmad and Sarah did a nikah, but they did not decide the mahar. Now Ahmad is dead. How much mahar will you give to Sarah? We'll ask Sarah how much you for mahar then we will pay. Yes, the best thing is to ask Sarah or 
you can also give her what you think Ahmad would have given to her. So you know mm -hmm. your son better than anyone else. And your mind, Allah knows what is in your mind. So try to be yeah. careful. We'll start in Ada as well. We'll stay Ada. Sorry? Will Sarah be on Ada like the four months and ten days? And yes, Sarah. She, yes, oh. she will complete her Ida as well. She needs to be. Okay. And in case Sarah asks too much Mahar, sometimes women get greedy. She, she, may, she may demand everything in Mahar. In that case, you can also decide the amount of Mahar according to what you think Ahmad would have given. Because they say Ada is to see maybe if the woman is pregnant, but Sarah, uh, does she need to be on Ada as well? And she needs to complete Ida, and uh, as per my knowledge, she will have to complete the completed Ida, which is a uh, four month and ten days, as per my knowledge. As far as I remember, maybe sometimes we make mistakes. She needs to complete it. Then. This is for sure. Uh, it is written here. Look here. Observe the waiting period. So according to this hadith, she needs to observe the idda period as well. Okay. Next student, read this and this. Narrated Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Abdullah ibn Utbah ibn Mas'ud said, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was informed of this story of a man. The people continued to visit him for a month or visited him many times. The narrator was not sure. He said, in this matter, I hold the opinion that she should receive the type of doa given to women of her class with no diminution or excess, observe the waiting period either and have her share of inheritance. It, if it is erroneous, then that is from me and from Satan. Allah and his messenger are free from its responsibility. Some people from Ashja got up, among them were Al Jarrah and Abu Sina. They say Ibn Mas'ud, we bear witness that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave a decision for us regarding Birwa, daughter of worship, to the same effect as the decision you have given. Her husband was Hilal ibn Murrah al-Ashja. Al Thereupon, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was very pleased when his decision agreed with the decision of Messenger of Allah. I think we better write this question as well. a man and a woman did nikah but the man died before consummating Consumating the marriage. Will the woman get Inheritance, inheritance, number two, does she needs to 
complete in the period. So in the answer you will write, yes, the woman will get inheritance just like a normal wife. So here you, according to uh, these, 2116 of Sunan Abidawud, yes, she will get inheritance just like a normal lady and she needs to complete her idda and she needs to complete her idda The question of man and woman in the car, but the man died before consummating the marriage. Will the woman get inheritance? Does she need to complete the Idda period? Yes, the woman will get inheritance and she needs to complete the Idda period. Next, we can repeat the question and the answer. Can a woman and can a woman send marriage? No. A man, a man and a woman Sorry? did nikah, but the... repeat. A man, a man and a woman did nikah, but the man died before consummating the marriage. Will the woman get inheritance? Does she needs to complete either period? Yes, she get. She will get inheritance just like a normal lady, and she needs to complete her idda. We will stop here and next time, inshallah, we will continue. Anybody, any question? See you all next time, inshallah.